Buenos dias. My name is Kathy, and these are photos of me and my husband Mike in Peru. And we would like to tell you how Latin America for Less helped make our dream of a lifetime come true. Like us, many of you may have always wanted to travel to Peru to see Cusco and especially Machu Picchu. Photos of its remote ruins are iconic. Its rugged peaks, surrounded by clouds, are hidden away in the Andes Mountains and have captured the imagination of many people all over the world. Machu Picchu is often found on many bucket lists of places to see before you leave this earth. It was certainly on our bucket list, but we were clueless about how to make arrangements to visit this magical, mysterious place. We soon learned that getting to Machu Picchu is very complicated. For starters, it is accessible only by train or on foot. Going on foot was out of the question for us. We had no idea how to buy the train tickets. Not only that, but Peru only allows 2,500 people per day into Machu Picchu. That is actually not a lot of people. To make matters more difficult, the entry tickets are only sold locally in Cusco or through a travel agency. You cannot buy them any other way, and the tickets are only valid for three days from the date of purchase. What's more, they can only be bought with Peruvian currency. And on top of that, you then need a bus ticket to ride up to Machu Picchu. And finally, we wanted to spend the night in Aguas Calientes, which is the small town in the valley below Machu Picchu. As you can imagine, we were concerned about traveling all the way to Peru and then not being able to obtain the necessary tickets. What if we got the train ticket but could not get the entry ticket, or vice versa? We had no idea how to buy all those tickets. What if we could not get a hotel room in Agos Calientes? Neither of us speak Spanish, so we turned for help to Latin America for less. Thank goodness for their professionalism and experience. Our Latin America for Less representative was named Riley, and she took away all our worries. She contacted the Latin America for Less representative in Cusco, and together they obtained all the tickets and made the hotel reservations for us. Best of all, when our plane landed in Cusco, the English-speaking Latin America for Less representative met us at the airport with a van to take us to our hotel. He then provided us with all our tickets and reservations from Machu Picchu. It was that easy. We spent a few days sightseeing in Cusco and enjoying the festival of Corpus Christi. Just a few days later, we were riding on the train through the Sacred Valley, or as they say in Peru, the Valle Sagrado, on our way to Machu Picchu. The train ride was thrilling. Everyone on board was headed to Machu Picchu and we were all giddy with excitement. Upon arriving in Aguas Calientes, there was a sense of elation that it is hard to describe. And when we finally reached Machu Picchu, it took our breath away. It is something we will remember all our lives, and it was well worth the time and planning it took to get there. We hope that you too will one day visit Machu Picchu, or anywhere else in Latin America, and that your trip will be as easy and worry-free as ours was. We hope that you enjoy our photos from Machu Picchu and Cusco. Our heartfelt gratitude goes to Latin America for less, for all they did to help make our dream come true. We will return to them again for our travel needs in South and Central America. And maybe we will run into you someday in one of the wonderful Latin American destinations. But for now, adios and happy travels.